Have you ever held a newborn baby in your arms, smelled its fresh, pink, perfect skin, and looked into wide, trusting purple eyes? There is an unmistakable sense of wholeness in new life. This abundance is slow to fade for many of us. Toddlers walk proudly into grocery stores in princess apparel, entirely oblivious to the raised eyebrows they engender. Little boys shout, Mom, watch this, watch this, enthralled with the incredible ability of their bodies to perform such magical feats as jumping off the couch, splashing in the pool, or spinning in the living room until they collapse. But as the years roll past, this inherent assurance of our miraculous nature fades away. Instead of lifting our face to the sky, relishing the warmth of sunlight on our skin, or gazing into the mirror for hours fascinated by the myriad of shapes we can make with our face, we begin to glance sideways. Picture the halls of junior high school. Who is watching? What do they think of me? The moment these questions first cross our mind, we have witnessed the birthplace of the ego.